Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new tutorial. Now today I'll be teaching you about Selenium. Selenium is a web testing framework. So let's write that down. Web testing framework. Now what does that mean? Basically, um, in nowadays and in the olden days when they develop a website, they deploy web uh, web testers and those web testers they go on the website and they test all the features of the site um, and, and if you think of something very simple then it will just take you a couple of hours to test the entire site um, however in more complicated uh, web applications such as a banking system that could take a month maybe two to test every single uh, feature of the site. So to minimize the time spent in web testing they've created an automated web testing tools. Now one of the most popular ones is the Selenium and uh, we'll be talking about the different flavors of Selenium. Selenium has three different features, uh, three different flavors shall I say. Uh, one is called IDE, the second one is called RC which stands for Remote Control and the third which isn't so popular is called Grid. So you've got Selenium ID and then you've got Selenium RC and Selenium Grid. I'll be taking you through um, the differences between the different flavors of selenium as well as we'll we'll learn quite a bit about each one and the pros and cons so first of all selenium ID is very simply an add-on in um, in Firefox so you would need Firefox to uh, to download selenium ID as you can see here um, the website itself if you just go onto Google And I'll just go Google now. And if we just type Selenium ID, there you go. And there you go, there's the website. You can download RC as well. So, Selenium ID, it's an add on for Firefox. So, you would need to download Firefox first and then you would download Selenium ID. You've got a screenshot here what what it would actually look like. Um, see, you can see it's quite user friendly. And then once you download the project, you add it into Firefox. But before we go any further, um, I'll take you back to the board and I'll tell you a bit about uh, the, the pros and the cons. First of all, the advantage of Selenium ID is it's easy to use. Get that. But the disadvantage the disadvantage of the IDE it only works it only works on Firefox which basically means you would record the test in a Firefox environment and then you would run the test and after you've tested the whole website uh, you can't actually test it in Internet Explorer or uh, Chrome or any other um, browser so while the site works very well in Firefox, it might not work so well in Internet Explorer or Chrome or Safari or any of the other um, browsers. So to be inclusive, you would need some sort of a tool that would allow you to run your tests and test your website or test the web application um, on all the different platforms and all the different browsers. So for this I'll take you through RC. 
RC stands for remote control. Okay, and it's developed in Java. So because it's developed in Java, you would need the minimum of Java runtime environment 1.5, and uh, then you would run that. And and for the and the RC, the advantage of the RC now is it allows you to run the tests across all browsers. So that solves that little problem, doesn't it? it does. However, what we'll do to make life a lot easier for everyone, we'll record the tests in the Selenium ID because it's very easy to use. Makes sense, doesn't it? And then we'll run the tests using RC. So we'll record the tests in IDE and I'll demonstrate that for you. And then once we decide to run the test, we'll use Selenium RC to run the test on Internet Explorer, Chrome, Safari, and Firefox. Now, to keep this tutorial very short, what I'll do is I'll demonstrate the test being run on two different browsers. I'm not going to go through all every single browser that exists um, out there in the worldwide world of the web. Um, so I'll just do the test on Firefox and um, for example Internet Explorer. So these are two popular ones there.